Happy Tuesday, Anthony Special here with Special Analysis, bringing you our daily uh, unedited on the live edge of the market cut. So we're going to take a look at a particular stock. We had a weekly settlement last week beyond our breakout standard, which is a 1 plus percent variation. Um, and we're going to jump right in. We're going to look at the chart. We're going to check it out and uh, go from there. So this is a what I call a low risk, high probability setup. This is a structuring uh, analysis structuring on a company called NVIDIA, which I'm sure most of you have heard of before. Um, and we've had a very successful, you know, what we call breakout. Uh, breakout on a daily uh, consistency and also on a weekly consistency. So we look for those settlements um, as confirmation. So how do I do this? I, I, of course, I've already built my analysis, so I know where support is. I know where resistance is. Um, so that piece of the puzzle is, is well in place. Uh, so I'm just waiting for price to break out. So I had this great breakout here on Thursday, which if I go to my channel structure and I measure to where the price bar closed, because we look at settlements, it's about 6.13%, which is great. Uh, so that is for the daily close on Thursday and for the weekly close on Friday, we're still 4.2% uh, roughly above our breakout area. So this is confirmed on both a daily and a weekly settlement. Uh, so what are my anticipations from here? So I think if we bought this in and around this area here where I have the entry marked, uh, you know, roughly 280-ish, uh, we should look at two targets, at least two immediate targets. And by immediate um, time frame, I would guess three to five months uh, for these two targets to fulfill. Um, probably one to two months for the first target, or could be sooner. Now, market volatility, is, of course, is high, but you know this perhaps could have been our bottom, and this is definitely a confirmed breakout. So, a buy here about 280. I would want to set my stop in here about 255. I, if you know we broke below that, it would be, you know, to me, the trade is likely to fail. So, I would want to get out, cut my losses, preserve my capital, and move on. But if this does work in our favor, I'd probably consider taking 50% off at about 315 when we reach target one. And then the question becomes, what do we do with target two? We could sell the other half and be done, and that's fine. Um, or we could sell about 25% and maintain another 25%. And if we do that, that's fine as well. Um, and the purpose of that would be if this continues to run beyond our targets, you know, we don't want to miss out on that action. If we're perfectly happy, and this is unique to each of us, taking our profits off at target one and target two, we're taking it all off at target one. Whatever you know, your strategy tells you to do, then so be it. Um, but the way I would manage this is when target one is hit and that order is filled, I would take my stop and move it to break even. When target two is hit and filled, if we intend to continue to hold some of this position for it to potentially run higher, I would then move my stop to target number one. The idea behind the stop maintenance is simply to preserve capital and to not allow a good winning trade to turn into a potentially losing trade. Uh, so to me, my conservative approach to the market is always the same. Uh, it's, it's preservation of capital because if you don't have capital, you can't trade. If you can't trade, you're basically out of business. So, um, you know, we're not gambling here. We're not rolling the dice. We're not throwing it at the wall and seeing what sticks. We are taking very low risk, very high probability setups. Um, are they all going to win? Absolutely not. That's just the world of trading. But will we have a good percentage of them to win? Yes, because we wait for this ultra-conservative approach to transpire. So that's it for today, guys. You can find this chart in my trading view account. You can follow me at Special Analysis um, when you get in there. And this is what it looks like right here, special analysis, and then you can just simply follow me, um, and then you'll see that all of my ideas get posted down here, and you can help yourself to them at any point in time. Um, so with that, I, I appreciate all of you. I thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Uh, if you liked it, please like it below. If you enjoyed it, please feel to, uh, you know, feel free to share it and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, I'm building all this for free just to get it all out there. If you are looking for paid research, uh, you know, products and services, we do offer them. I work for a company called Traders Agency out of Orlando, Florida, um, and we have products that fit an array of traders, whether it's an investment style, a more active style, or a more conservative approach. 
um, we have a little bit of everything. So our suite of indicators uh, is, is really, you know, bar none and, and above, and beyond, uh, above and beyond what else is out there. So if that's something that interests you, please go to tradersagency.com. You can find myself, my colleagues, and all the products that we offer. Uh, but beyond that, everything here I do with special analysis is completely free and will remain completely free. So uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed, and I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow. Have a great day.